us to see with the resolution here, but we saw in CB's live shot that the winds are really picking up. And it's downgraded to a one, but really the issue is the storm surge and the rain that it's going to bring. Right, and the fact that it's slow moving. So, you know, that rain and that wind continues to go over the same areas for a very long period of time. So we are worried about the folks along the coastline, especially here in North Carolina. And then into South Carolina as this slowly moves and dips to the south. And then moves into Middle Tennessee. You can see the outer bands already moving on. And this is a picture I actually got from one of our viewers. Her family lives there at Topsail Island Beach in North Carolina. And look at that wave and that action that's moving into the homes already. She said that's just the beginning of all of that. So I'm sure we're going to get some updates from her. Brenda, we're thinking about your family out there. Do you want to talk about how much rain we're talking about out across the coastline? 25 to 30 inches is not out of the question, and maybe in some isolated spots, up to 40 inches of rain. In this yellow area, that's really the bullseye where it's going to stay for the next 48 hours. But notice the rain bands extend in the middle Tennessee as this system moves closer to us, which I'm going to show you that on the future tracker here. See, it does make landfall tomorrow morning, right in, you know, the Wilmington area, just south of that even and into South Carolina. Then it slowly creeps into South Carolina. Look, this is Saturday at 6 p.m. It's still raining over the same as far west as, say, I-65 near Nashville, near Murfreesboro. Plateau has the best bet of seeing the most rain in our viewing area, but East Tennessee will see even more of it. And it continues into early Monday morning before the showers finally let go of us by Tuesday. And then we start to finally dry out. So we could see one to two inches along the plateau as well as bring us up to about 25 to 30 miles an hour but a little farther in maybe some showers that's really about it and two inches plus and some flooding concerns out in far east tennessee over the mountains again we did have some showers earlier this evening and this afternoon now storm tracker radar is dry at 81 degrees it's still very warm it's still very muggy outside and we got some great pictures from you folks this is from Trisha from Murfreesboro. I put this on my Facebook page. You can send pics to pics at WeCarin.com or me, Danielle Breezy TV, on Facebook or on Twitter. Want to pull off here. You can't see it, but it's a faded rainbow right there in McMinnville from Brandy. Thanks so much for sending that. And then look at this sunset shot from Shannon in Nolansville. This is unfiltered. Look at the beautiful colors out there tonight. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s. We are also talking about some patchy fog possible where we saw the rain. So Cookville's already dropping, so is Crossville, and so is Columbia. So heads up first thing tomorrow morning. Patchy fog if possible. It will be humid and 70 overnight. For tomorrow, 91 degrees, muggy, hot, and most of us stay dry. Maybe a spot shower, but Saturday more sunshine, 90 again. We're going for three days in a row of 90, which means the heat wave of September. Then we're watching Florence for Sunday. Does look like it's going to stall enough so that when we get that Titans game going, we shouldn't have any rain. It will be mostly cloudy and temperatures will be in the mid 80s. Go Titans. All right, weather authority seven day forecast looks like this. Again, rain showers coming in probably Sunday late afternoon for our eastern areas, evening for Nashville, and then more showers east on Monday and temperatures rebounding back into the 90s by Thursday. We're back after this.